Hello, everybody. We're back with more Super Mario 64. This is like literally three seconds after um, the last video. So let's head into course number eight. Wah, 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 wah. This is called Shifting Soundland in the Talons of the Big Bird. This one isn't hard. Most of this place is just walking around this desert. Out of the way, Pokey. This course is kind of difficult because you can die a little bit easier here than... Yeah, see what I mean? You can die easier here. There are so many death pits in this place, I swear. Like, you see that dark colored sand down there? You touch that and you're dead. You touch that sand down there and you're dead. Okay, so there's the bird. This guy's named Klepto, by the way. You can also steal your hat, so watch out for him. Here we go! Look at that, 59 stars. We're doing alright for ourselves. Shiny atop the pyramid. This one, um, I saw a video where someone actually got the star used in a cannon, but I don't think it's really all that easy. But you can get, if you're good enough with a cannon, you can get there really fast. These guys are called Tox Box, by the way, and they also make an appearance in Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, only they look completely different. They look more like, uh, thwomps than they do like that. See, now Klepto's talons are empty now, so he's gonna try and steal my hat. And if Mario loses his hat, I don't know if I explained this before, but you actually lose life faster. Which doesn't make any sense. I guess that's why Mario always wears a hat, is to keep himself from dying. This is actually a slow way to get the star. Even though it's the real way to get it, it's the slow way. Oh shit, I'm gonna die! Whoa! Oh my god, that was close. I will not be defeated by shifting sandland. Get over there! The fastest way is to fly there. And to do that, you stand on top of one of these pillars, because this is pretty much the highest place you can get to. And then you fly over here. Look how narrow that platform is. Do you really want to walk along that thing, or do you just want to fly there? <laughs> Well, that was pretty fun, now, wasn't it? Now, this might be the... Um, inside the Ancient Pyramid. Okay. This is the one to get 100 coins on, which... This is extremely long and tedious, so there might be a speed montage. There's a red coin back here. Don't touch that. That's a death trap right there. You see that? Whenever the sand looks like that, don't touch it. You have no chance of getting out if you touch it. Because it instantly kills you. <laughs> Whoa! Would you get away from me? Hey, fly guy, what's up? Bam! But you can touch that thing without dying. As long as you don't touch the very center of it, you'll be fine. Yeah! I hate that. That's like a glitch or something, I swear. Sometimes when you kill Goombas and the coin goes above a platform, then it'll like teleport up there or something. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we're not getting that. Okay, I don't think I need to get this, but... A little help. You can actually circle on this part. But, if you hit any of these walls, then you're dead. So, just be careful. There's another coin that's always here. Uh, Pokey, hello, what's up? Nah. Back off, Klepto. Even though you're on a shell, you Klepto can still steal your hat, so that's a real big problem. Hey, look at the Pokey. Ah, whatever. Hey, I want that coin. Oh, wait, no, that's over the death trap. Get over there, go over there, go over there. Hey, low Pokey. Hey, low Pokey. God. I don't really like Halo that much, to be honest. I mean, some people, like, upon the release of, like, Halo 3, everyone's talking about, like, oh man, Halo's, like, the best game ever. And then, like, literally, I swear, like, a couple months after that, when Gears of War 2 was released, everyone's like, oh man, Gears of War 2 is the best thing ever. And now people are like, oh man, Modern Warfare 2 is the best thing ever. I'm like, 
Like, what? <laughs> That's why I don't really play Xbox that much. It's just a bunch of shooter games, and... Like, even though I'll play some shooter games here and there, I... Most of the time, I'm playing either action platformers, adventure games, or RPGs. Get under there, get under there! Oh, crap. Yeah, thank you for that. I needed that. Oh, that didn't work. Hey, look, that box is back. We can all use that, then. Yeah. Throw it against this pillar here, then. How did that coin get over there? No! Huh? See, I don't like that glitch. Okay. The wing cap. The rest of these coins are up in the air. Well, the red coins are like. See, look at all these sand traps. God damn. This is around the time where the game really starts trying to kill you. It hits you with Lethal Lava Land, where you can die by the lava in three hits. And then it hits you with these death traps that doesn't even give you a chance. And pretty soon, in some of the later courses, there isn't gonna be even any floor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now... Damn it, I didn't do that. That's another star that we're gonna get later. Not right now. I think now we can head into the volcano. And, and I'm not on the volcano in the pyramid. Okay. There's a blue coin switch over here. Let me get this. It just makes like 15 coins appear. No, don't do that. Stick thing, I swear. Okay. If you ask me, the Goombas make some pretty weird sound effects. Mm, mm, get over there, get over there. This sand isn't a death trap. Like, when you're standing in it, you'll just slowly sink down, but it won't kill you. Actually, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it won't kill you. I've never seen it kill you before. I think only in certain areas it can do that. Oh yeah, we got this star easy. It took a long time though. We're already at 21 minutes. God. Oh well, I guess uh, shifting sandland might be in two videos then. Like I can't believe they made um, the 100 100 coin star in Lethal Wobble Land so easy to get. No, don't kill me. I'm not dying. Ah. Okay, so... We got some more coins here. And there are even more over there, so yeah. This is going to be an easy start to get. Oh, what the hell? No, 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 Oh yeah, that takes some skill. It's really hard to get around him when he's going backwards. Backwards. That would suck. Okay. There's star number three into the pyramid, or inside the ancient pyramid, whatever. Stand tall on the four pillars. This one's not all that hard. You do have to fight a boss, but other than that, um, it's pretty easy. See these four pillars? You have to stand on them. Even though it says stand tall. 
I don't, I don't really know how, where they came up with that, but... I guess it means stand tall as with confidence or something. Oh shit. Yeah, this one's standing right above a death trap, so if you miss that, then you're dead. Like, as soon as you hit the basement, it really hits, hits you hard if you're new. Then just... I just like to walk to this one, since it really doesn't take that long. But once you hit that one, then the pyramid wall, and the pyramid top will come off. And now it'll come off, it'll explode! Wow! But you can go in there, and... Drop into this cage, and it's an elevator! Yay! And that's where we were last time, and you can see this cage from... From that star. So we just ride this down. There's really nothing to do here. Get a nice little preview of what the whole pyramid looks like. It's basically kind of like a maze thing where you're just going along the edges. You drop in here and you get this weird thing. Oh my god! Who walk here? Who breaks seal? Wake ancient ones. We know like light. We know like intruders. Now battle hand to hand. Uh, more puns. So this is actually pretty easy. One of them will open the eye, open their eye, so they can, so the other one can see. It. And you just punch the one with the eye open, and they just like alternate, so it's pretty easy. And, it's, and they each take three hits. So once one goes down, the other one will go like nuts or something. And then you just punch him as he goes towards you. What happened? We crushed like pebble. You're so strong. You rule ancient pyramid for today. Now it takes our power. We sleep. Okay, whatever. Strange, but whatever. Not a really hard boss battle, if you ask me. I remember I had to do that for my friend when we were playing this game for the first time. Yeah, I'll save because I haven't saved in a while. Free of line for eight red coins. Okay, half of them are up in the air and the other half are on the ground somewhere. But I already got the eight red coins when I was looking for the coins, I think. So it shouldn't be so we should already know where they all are. Cool. Yeah, the first one's down there. Here's something that you can do. If you long jump across this thing, you'll get that one up. Second red coin's in here. No. That was close. Third one's over here. Fourth one. I thought was gonna steal my hat. Get back, you bastard! Whoa. You almost had me that time. Okay, now that we got the four on the ground... That was weird. I didn't know where I could do that. Okay, five. Just try and keep it as level as you can, even though you'll slowly go down. And, okay. Not doing too bad. Seven. Oh, got it. Oh shit! No 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 Ah, that was close. At least I didn't go in one of the death traps. Hey look, 64 stars, that's funny, right? <laughs> 